We all keep our phones safely stowed away when driving, right? Well, that rule doesn't apply if you're flying on autopilot. And lucky for us, one pilot had his hands free and his phone ready to capture a one-of-a-kind video. Prepare for takeoff. February 2020, an Airbus A320 is on a routine flight soaring over Medellin, Colombia. Little does the captain know he's about to find out he's sharing the friendly skies. The pilot does us the favor of showing his altimeter, and we can see that he's flying uh, around 30,000 feet in altitude. The pilot then points his camera phone out of the cockpit window and watch this as he zooms in. A metallic looking object, a polyhedron of some sort, whizzes by in a straight line. We slow it down and zoom in further. You can see it kind of looks like a cube. It has uh, these kind of little points that stick out. It does seem to be darker in color and not um, like a bright, shining balloon. Whatever this is, it definitely shouldn't be there. Now, it's hard to judge this object's size without knowing how far away it is, but scientist Amy Eskridge estimates it's 10 to 15 feet in diameter. One theory is that if we were visited by another civilization, they might send probes ahead of when they actually come. And consider this. A similar object was spotted by an F-A-18 fighter pilot in 2018 at an altitude of 35,000 feet. It still hasn't been identified, and its structure, unlike any known airframe, lends credence to the alien probe theory. They might want to collect data, maybe do a little surveillance, a little monitoring before they actually show up. In the U.S., we associate Medellin, Colombia with drug cartels. But in South America, the city is known for UFO sightings. In fact, after UFOs were spotted over a soccer stadium at above a forest, the city earned the title the New Roswell. So we're turning to our experts to see if they can tell us what's going on. I've analyzed several videos in depth of UFOs and UAPs over the course of my career. And the way that it's traveling on screen in the area of the clouds does appear to be consistent with recordings that I have deemed authentic. So while Primo can't find anything technically wrong with the video, something just doesn't look right to him. What caught my eye is when the camera's panning up to the skyline, the operator instinctively zooms in, almost like he's expecting this object as it's coming towards the airplane. This was peculiar to me. So the feel of the video upon visual analysis feels staged. But Primo thinks it's possible the pilot was just plain lucky to zoom in right as the object flies past the plane. MJ Benias agrees. Pilots are the people who work in the sky and operate in it, so they're going to have the best view of any potential UFOs around them. We turn this video over to our aviation expert, Tim McMillan. He thinks whatever was shot over Medellin is too slow to be any kind of plane or missile, and it looks nothing like a drone. Initially, when it starts coming, I thought uh, it's probably a balloon. Regular helium balloons rarely make it to this altitude. When they get this high, the helium expands and the balloon pops. But solar balloons are different. Used as toys or for research, they're usually made from dark material to absorb the sun's heat. They rise as the air inside warms and expands. They've gone as high as 46,000 feet, but in general, when they hit the cooler air up high, they start to lose shape and altitude. It's just too cold for them to stay aloft. It almost seems to have a, an odd uh, cube-like shape. That uh, is exactly what the Navy pilots have reported seeing off the east coast of the United States. They're currently part of the unidentified aerial phenomena that's being investigated by the Department of Defense. I don't have a good explanation. So, assuming it's not a hoax, it's certainly not a drone or a known aircraft. It's possibly a balloon. I mean, when you look at that speed, your mind goes there. But it's extremely rare for a solar balloon to reach this altitude. By process of elimination, we'll go with genuine UFO. So humans might not be the only pilots up in the sky.